Our planet is like a giant mystery box, filled with numerous groups of people, each with their own unique customs and traditions. Among these diverse cultures, there are some that leave us in complete awe, like the secretive Moken tribe and other lesser-known communities who live in seclusion. What makes them different from the rest? What fascinating tales lie behind their way of life? Come along as we delve into the stories of 15 of the scariest tribes you don't want to meet. Number 15. The Huli Tribe In the remote highlands of Papua New Guinea, amidst the rich landscapes, the mysterious tribe of the Huli Wigmen, their origins dated back to the legendary figure of Huli, a revered farmer whose legacy still resonates through the generations. Their territory reveals vibrant varieties of customs and traditions, each more captivating than the last. Among these, the relationship with hair emerges as a striking symbol of identity and ritual. The Huli men's hair, grown long and shiny, is carefully groomed and styled, signifying their status within the community and their connection to the natural world. The journey to becoming a Huli Wigman is no ordinary passage into adulthood. It is a profound journey of self-discovery and transformation. Young males embark on a solitary pilgrimage into the depths of the jungle, where they spend years in privacy, speaking with nature and purifying their spirits with sacred oils and herbs. This period of loneliness fosters a deep bond with the land and instills a profound sense of high regard for the ancestral traditions passed down through generations. Emerging from their solitary retreat, these initiates are reborn, their once youthful features now adorned with the proud visage of a warrior. Their hair, now grown to its full splendor, serves as a tangible proof of their resilience and determination. With skilled hands and boundless creativity, the Huli artisans fashion elaborate headpieces that bring to mind the grace and majesty of the birds that soar above their homeland. Each carefully crafted headdress tells a story, evidence to the tribe's rich cultural heritage and unwavering connection to the land. Number 14. Korowai Tribe Deep within the depths of the Indonesian jungle, where the sounds of wildlife create a violence of nature, lies the secluded home of the Korowai tribe. Their settlements, hidden amidst towering trees, are evidence of their mastery of camouflage and adaptation to their environment. The tribe has their survival skills over generations, crafting tools and shelters from materials found in the jungle, displaying an ingenuity born of necessity. In addition to their extensive knowledge of medicinal plants, they possess a deep spiritual connection to the natural world. They believe that every plant and animal harbors a spirit, and their rituals often involve offerings and ceremonies to maintain harmony with these spirits. Through their rituals, they seek not only physical healing but also spiritual balance, believing that a disrupted balance can bring misfortune upon their community. Their hunting techniques are a marvel of skill and strategy. They employ traps ingeniously woven from climbing plants and branches, utilizing their knowledge of animal behavior to predict their movements. Their prowess with blowpipes and poison darts is legendary among neighboring tribes. Despite their isolation, their oral tradition is rich and diverse. Their stories, passed down from generation to generation, recount the adventures of mythical creatures and heroes, weaving a decoration of folklore that binds their community together. Each tale is infused with wisdom and moral lessons, serving not only as entertainment, but also as a guide for navigating life's challenges. While they have managed to maintain their way of life for centuries, external threats loom on the horizon. Deforestation, driven by the relentless march of industrialization, encroaches upon their territory, disrupting ecosystems and displacing wildlife. Illegal activities such as logging and smuggling further jeopardize the delicate balance of the jungle, threatening their traditional livelihood and spiritual beliefs. In the face of these challenges, the Kauai remain resilient, drawing strength from their deep connection to the land and their ancestors. Number 13. North Sentinel Nestled in the Bay of Bengal lies the enigmatic North Sentinel Island, a place not only for the secretive Sentinel tribe, but also for a diverse array of wildlife. This island forms part of the Andaman and Nicobar Archipelago, a cluster of islands renowned for their rainforests, untouched beaches, and thriving marine ecosystems. The Sentinelese,
believed to be direct descendants of ancient African migrants who journeyed tens of thousands of years ago, have steadfastly stuck to their traditional way of life for centuries. Their existence revolves around the bounty of their surroundings, with hunting, fishing, and gathering sustaining them on their small but resilient island home. Despite persistent efforts by outsiders to establish communication, they have fiercely protected their isolation. In 1880, an expedition led by British colonial administrator Maurice Vidal Portman sought to initiate contact with the tribe, only to be met with hostility. Unfortunately, Portman's attempts resulted in the capture and subsequent deaths of several Sentinelese individuals, underscoring the tribe's resolute resistance to external interference. Following the devastating 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, which wreaked havoc on coastal communities throughout the region, aerial surveys indicated that the Sentinelese had weathered the catastrophe relatively unscathed. Their profound understanding of the island's landscape and natural warning signs likely played a pivotal role in their survival, highlighting their remarkable self-reliance and adaptability. The language, customs, and rituals of the Sentinelese remain hidden in mystery, adding to the beauty surrounding the tribe. Archaeologists and storytellers have long been captivated by the opportunity to study Sentinelese culture, yet ethical concerns and the tribe's staunch resistance have hindered scientific inquiry. Recent advancements in satellite imagery have offered valuable glimpses into the daily lives of the Sentinelese, revealing the locations of their settlements and shedding light on their routines. Number 12. Mokan Tribe The Mokan people dwell within the breathtaking Mergi Archipelago, a collection of about 800 islands that sit amidst a territorial dispute between Thailand and Burma. These fascinating folks have an ancestry stretching back some six millennia, tracing their origins to southern China, before migrating and settling across various South Asian islands. Today, around two to three thousand Mokan individuals call these islands home, leading a life somewhat on the move as hunters and gatherers who rely heavily on the bounty of the sea for sustenance. Within their community, consisting of roughly 1,500 men and an equal number of women, a distinct language known as Mokan is spoken, belonging to the Austronesian family. Despite the deep cultural richness set in their island existence, there exists a pressing concern regarding their dwindling numbers. The complexities of modern immigration laws and land ownership issues pose continual challenges due to their normal way of life. Yet, the Mokan people have adapted to modernity to some degree. Their children now attend mainstream schools, exposing them to contemporary cultural beliefs. However, a clear division persists among those residing on the Surin Islands, where a more traditional lifestyle reigns supreme. These islanders, deeply twisted with their natural environment, sustain themselves by gathering resources from land and sea, utilizing age-old tools such as spears and nets. Interestingly, they have also begun to engage in local markets, trading their harvested goods for essential items. Despite the threats to their traditional customs, the resilient Mokan people expertly navigate the delicate balance between preserving their heritage and adjusting to the changing world around them. Number 11. The Agori Tribe Nestled amidst the rich landscapes of Uttar Pradesh, India, the Agori Tribe resides in a secluded enclave, covered in mystery and ancient tradition. Their lineage can be traced back centuries, and their customs are in the rich culture of Indian methodology and spiritualism. The Aghori are renowned for their mastery of Tantra, a form of ritualistic practice aimed at mobilizing the cosmic energies that govern the universe. Within their community, elders pass down knowledge through oral tradition, ensuring the preservation of their sacred rituals. Beyond their unique funeral rites, they engage in a myriad of other practices that set them apart from mainstream society. They are skilled in the art of magic, concocting potent herbal remedies and tonic believed to bestow longevity and vitality upon those who partake. Additionally, their deep understanding of the natural world allows them to cultivate rare medicinal plants and tackles the healing properties of various herbs. They are not only practitioners of ancient arts, but also custodians of a profound spiritual philosophy. Central to their belief system is the notion of supremacy, the idea that through embracing the cycle of life and death, one can attain liberation from the earthly kingdom. 
This spiritual journey is often facilitated through rigorous, unrelenting practices, including meditation, fasting, and solitary retreats in remote wilderness areas. Despite their hard lifestyle, they are not entirely isolated from the outside world. Over the years, curious travelers and seekers of hidden wisdom have ventured into their territory, drawn by tales of their mystical prowess. Some scholars speculate that their rituals may have roots in Hinduism traditions, hinting at a lineage that predates even the ancient scriptures of India. Number 10. Skeleton Clan Deep within the rugged terrain of Papua New Guinea lies the mysterious Skeleton Clan, a group whose essence is braided into the very fabric of their being. Their DNA holds a secret, a puzzle that baffles scientists and defies explanation. It suggests a lineage that strays from the usual course of human evolution, hinting at origins beyond the earthly kingdom. What makes the Skeleton Clan truly remarkable is not just their genetic mystery, but the astonishing way they choose to express it. They carve their bodies deliberately, transforming themselves into strange skeletal figures. It's a sight to behold, as bones seem to emerge from below their skin, creating a spectacle that captures the imagination. They possess a mesmerizing glow, one that cannot be replicated with ordinary makeup or artificial lenses. Tucked away in the heights of Kundiawa, a settlement thousands of meters above sea level, the Skeleton Clan resides in a world all on their own, separated from the ordinary realities of life. Throughout history, they have been known for their aggressive nature, often leading to deadly conflicts. This tendency sets them apart, even among the diverse indigenous groups in the area. Despite their tendency to keep to themselves, scientists have managed to uncover some of the mysteries surrounding this mysterious tribe. They wanted to know their species and breeds. Could there be more hidden aspects of humanity waiting to be discovered in the depths of their forests? It's almost as if we're conjuring images of mysterious creatures like King Kong, roaming in distant wildernesses beyond our understanding. The mystery of the Skeleton Clan urges us to delve deeper into the unknown, where secrets lie on the fringes of our comprehension. Number 9. Night Marchers From the ancient stone structures nestled amidst green landscapes to the majestic valleys covered in clouds, every corner of Hawaii seems to echo with whispers of the supernatural. Sacred burial grounds, revered temples, and rich woodlands teeming with life all play host to a myriad of ghostly encounters and mysterious happenings. Even the rugged coastal shores and rugged lava fields of Hawaii are not immune to these spectral phenomena. It's as if the very land itself holds the memories of bygone eras, where the veil between the living and the spirit world is tantalizingly thin. Deep within the heart of Hawaiian tradition, lies the intriguing legend of the Night Marchers, or Hawaii Po. These spectral beings, believed by some to be the restless spirits of ancient warriors, march solemnly to the beat of ancient drums. Clad in armor, their ghostly procession is a sight to behold, evoking both wonder and fear among those who dare to witness it. But the tales do not end there. Stories speak of powerful spirits, relating to Ali rulers, leading these ghostly marches to significant sites across the islands. Some say they are announcing the arrival of new warriors, while others believe they are settling age-old scores from battles long past. What adds to the mystery of these ghostly processions are the varied intentions attributed to them. From reclaiming disputed land, to reliving past conflicts or seeking revenge, the motives of the night marchers are as diverse as the stories themselves. And then there are those who speculate that these spectral beings are in search of a gateway to the afterlife, their heavenly journey guided by the unseen forces of the spiritual realm. Number 8. Batak People The Batak folks, known for their toughness and ability to adjust, have not only managed to survive, but thrive in the river valleys of Palawan, despite centuries of change. They hold deep knowledge about the forests around them, especially when it comes to spotting medicinal plants, rare herbs, and valuable trees, which they cleverly use for both their own needs and for trade. Their physical features, like their impressive height and unique curly hair, have fascinated study of humanity and heredity, sparking ongoing investigations into their ancestry and how they evolved. Some studies hint at possible links to ancient migrations from Southeast Asia, 
adding to the diversity of people in the region. Even though they are a small group, the Batak maintain a strong sense of community, building strong connections through shared rituals, ceremonies, and stories passed down through generations. These cultural traditions not only bring people together, but also preserve their rich history amidst modern changes and outside influences. Additionally, their involvement in tourism has not only brought economic opportunities, but also shed light on their distinct way of life, promoting understanding and respect across cultures. Visitors often find themselves enchanted by their traditional dances, skilled crafts, and warm hospitality, gaining a newfound appreciation for their resilience in the face of environmental and social obstacles. As stewards of their land, the Batak play a crucial role in protecting their environment, advocating for sustainable use of resources and taking care of their surroundings. Their strong bond with nature is reflected in their spiritual beliefs, which emphasize living in harmony with the natural world and honoring their ancestors' spirits, shaping how they interact with their environment. Ultimately, the story of the Batak people isn't just about surviving, but also about thriving, adapting, and preserving their culture and environment. Number 7. The Simbu Tribe Deep within the rugged expanse of Papua New Guinea's highlands, the Simbu tribe, known to outsiders as the Chimbu people, form a tradition and mystery against the backdrop of towering peaks and thick vegetation. Their ancestral roots intertwine with the ancient rhythms of the land, as they have dwelled in these remote mountains for centuries, far removed from the currents of modernity. In addition to their renowned skeleton dance, the people possess a rich way of cultural practices that reflect their deep connection to the natural world. Rituals involving the spirits of the mountains and the rhythms of the earth punctuate their daily lives, injecting each action with a sense of admiration and significance. Their dwellings, though humble in appearance, hold secrets of generations past. Beyond their functional simplicity lies a wealth of ingenuity, with intricate designs woven into every covered roof and flattened wall. Each structure is a proof of the resourcefulness of the Chimbu people, who have learned to coexist harmoniously with the unforgiving terrain that surrounds them. Despite the remoteness of their existence, the people have not been immune to the winds of change. Encounters with outsiders have brought both opportunities and challenges, as modern influences slowly seep into their traditional way of life. Yet, Amidst this continuous change, they remain resolute in their commitment to preserving their cultural heritage, finding innovative ways to adapt without sacrificing the essence of who they are. In the depths of mountain caves where echoes of ancient whispers linger, the people gather to perform their sacred skeleton dance. Here, amidst the flickering light of torches, they pay homage to their ancestors and community with the spirits of the land. Number 6. Mercy Tribe the Mercy Tribe stands out like a signal in the home of human cultures, particularly their women, who possess a fashion sense so extraordinary that it rivals even the most innovative celebrities like Lady Gaga. Imagine lips elegantly adorned in a manner that could cradle not just any plate, but one delicately decorated with corn grains, bones, leaves and seeds, creating a masterpiece of artistic expression. Amidst a backdrop where 45 other tribes coexist, None can hold a candle to the flamboyance and beauty of the Mercy women. Their expression graces the covers of prestigious travel magazines, captivating the imaginations of photographers and tourists alike. The mere thought of encountering them in the flesh ignites a passionate curiosity. Their existence is full of hardship as they traverse varied landscapes in pursuit of water, engaging in territorial disputes with rival tribes. However, They've ingeniously transformed their distinctive traits into a means of survival. Embracing visitors as a source of income, they present themselves along roadside decorations in ceremonial attire, proudly showcasing their lip plates, ready to exchange them for compensation. Each photograph taken is not merely an image, but a transaction in itself, offering a glimpse into the local economy that sustains them. Witness their fascinating tradition where lip plates are dressed exclusively for the camera, offering a chance to grace the coveted covers of travel magazines. The narrative of the tribe transcends mere survival. It's a proof to their ability to influence their cultural uniqueness in a world that has come to value and admire their resilience. 
Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. Ever imagined what it'd feel like if you suddenly found yourself amidst one of the scariest tribes you don't want to meet? In the depths of the thick jungle, where sunlight struggles to pierce the thick canopy, lies a realm inhabited by tribes that strike fear into the hearts of even the bravest adventurers. These mysterious groups are whispered about in silent tones around campfires and serve as cautionary tales for those who dare to venture into the unknown. Imagine a world where the trees seem to whisper ancient secrets and the very air is thick with a sense of foreboding. It is in this realm that the tribes dwell, each with their own unique customs and traditions, hidden in mystery and soaked in darkness. One such tribe, known only as the Shadow Walkers, are said to move silently through the night, their presence signaled only by the soft rustle of leaves underfoot. Legend has it that they possess powers beyond comprehension, able to disappear into the shadows at will and strike fear into the hearts of their enemies with a single glance. Then there are the Blood Hunters, fierce warriors who paint their bodies with the blood of their fallen foes as a gruesome display of strength. They are said to roam the jungle in search of animals, their savage cries echoing through the trees as they hunt with ruthless efficiency. What kind of preparations would you make before venturing into the territory of these terrifying tribes? How would you communicate with the silent ones if speech is not an option? Do you think we still have shadow workers around? Share your thoughts and comments below. Number 5. Akunsu Tribe in the depths of the vast Amazonian woodland, where the towering trees seem to touch the heavens and the very ground emit the whispers of ancient mysteries, exists a tribe known as the Akunsu. Comprising merely three members, they stand as the sole guardians of a fading culture deeply twisted with the rainforest's essence. The Akunsu thrived amidst the untidy expanse of Rondonia's rainforests, alongside an array of tribes each adorned with its unique customs and tongues. Beneath the sheltering arms of ancient trees, they exchanged tales, their laughter harmonizing with the whispering of leaves above. However, as time spreads its relentless march, the movement of progress advances, swallowing the flourishing cloak of the jungle in its unyielding embrace. Akunsu find themselves confined to a little refuge, encircled by expansive cattle ranches stretching as far as the eye can perceive, where wildlife resonated through the air, now it's the dark lowing of cattle that permeates the landscape. Despite these trials, they remain resolute in their resolve to safeguard their ancestral heritage. Beneath the towering canopy, they convene to dance and sing, their wooden flutes harmonizing with the forest's exciting rhythm. Every gesture bears significance, paying homage to their forebears who walked these paths before them. In their daily endeavors, they exhibit remarkable resourcefulness, fashioning tools and implements from materials harvested within the forest's embrace. Though their plots may be modest, they yield sustenance enough to endure the harsh times. Yet it is their unwavering determination in the face of adversity that truly sets them apart. Despite the overwhelming odds stacked against them, they stay close steadfastly to their way of life, a realization of resilience amidst the trespassing tide of change. Number 4. Desana Tribe Sidney Pasuelo, a brave explorer hailing from Brazil, embarked on an extraordinary journey deep into the heart of the western Amazon basin in 1996. His adventure led him to encounter the mysterious Desana Tribe, a community secluded from the modern world. Joining him was the insightful journalist Paul Raphael, whose observations enriched our comprehension of this isolated society. The Desana people, Dwelling amidst the vastness of the Amazon, remain largely untouched by modern advancements, despite occasional conflicts with neighboring groups. With only around 50 members, this tribe provides a rare glimpse into a lifestyle unaffected by modernity. However, within their midst, a smaller fraction of about two dozen individuals has sharp pieces due to internal disagreements. While some advocate for interaction with nearby settlements, the majority strongly resist such contact, preferring to maintain their traditional way of life. Armed with basic tools like clubs and sometimes resorting to poisoned arrows, the Desana tribe sustains themselves through hunting and occasional encounters with outsiders. Intriguingly, 
They also demonstrate adaptability by utilizing modern weapons. Their daily routines, involving up to five hours of labor, unfold within communal huts known as malakas, which serve as both residences and gathering spots. Despite their isolation, the people uphold formal religious practices, occasionally marred by conflicts leading to violence. Both men and women adorn themselves with red dye extracted from the ruku plant, symbolizing their distinct cultural identity. Rejecting the comforts of modern life, they rely on a diet comprising corn, fish, birds, wild pigs and fruits, cultivated through basic agricultural methods. Yet, amidst their self-sufficiency, the tribe faces a formidable foe in the form of malaria, which remains the primary cause of death within their community. Number 3. The Yanomami Tribe The Yanomami Tribe, known for their resilience and deep-rooted connection with the Amazon rainforest, has withstood the test of time for over 15,000 years. Nestled within the rich expanse of northern Brazil and southern Venezuela, this tribe, numbering around 35,000 individuals spread across 250 villages, represents a rich way of indigenous culture. Their encounter with the outside world commenced in the 1940s, an era marked by the intrusion of Brazilian settlers encroaching upon their ancestral lands. This raid brought with it a series of challenges, foremost among them the introduction of diseases previously unknown to the Yanomami. Their lack of immunity led to widespread illness, reducing their population. Subsequently, miners armed with weapons further aggravate their plight, engaging in violent conflicts over territory. Within a span of seven years, the Yanomami suffered a deep loss, with 20% of their people succumbing to the turmoil unleashed upon their homelands. Amidst adversity, the Yanomami have preserved their distinct way of life, with men undertaking the mantle of hunting, while women oversee the domestic domain and cultivate the land. Their common spirit finds expression in the construction of expansive huts, capable of accommodating up to 400 individuals, fostering a sense of unity and cooperation among the tribe members. Notably absent is a singular leader. Instead, decisions are arrived at through collective deliberation and consensus, underscoring the belief that spread through their society. Despite governmental interventions to restrict mining activities within their territory in 1992, they continue to struggle with ongoing challenges, including forced displacement, and the persistent threat of conflict-induced injuries and illnesses. In acknowledging the value of their lives, it becomes commanding to recognize their inherent right to coexist relationship within the broader of humanity's existence on Earth. Number 2. Suri Tribe The Suri Tribe, residing in the borderlands between South Sudan and Ethiopia, are deeply rooted in agricultural practices. Situated amidst the landscapes of southwestern Ethiopia, specifically within the Omozo region of the Southern Nations, Nationalities and Peoples region, SNNPR, the Suri people, also known as Surya, number around 34,000. Within this ethnic group, there exists a distinctive division marked by two factions, the Maga and Chai, while a third subset, the Ballet or Balesi or Kachipo, extends its presence into the Republic of South Sudan. The people, driven by pursuits like trade, intermarriage and seasonal migration in search of better grazing lands during dry spells, lead a dynamic and interconnected way of life. Linguistically diverse, the Ballet or Balesi or Kachipo group communicates in a slightly different dialect compared to their Suri counterparts. Historical echoes from the late 19th century when Imperial Ethiopian troops asserted their influence in the Suri region, formally incorporating the area into Ethiopia. Following this, the region became a focal point for cattle raids by both Highlanders and Imperial troops stationed in newly established settlements. Previously characterized by a fairly autonomous political structure led by esteemed elders of the ruling age grade and chiefs or priests known as Komoru, Suri society has undergone a transformation, integrating seamlessly into the broader administrative framework of national Ethiopia, relinquishing some autonomy to state control. At the heart of Suri beliefs lies a supreme sky deity known as Tumu, acting as a mediator between earthly inhabitants and Tumu, with the Komoru playing a pivotal role in channeling collective prayers for rain and fertility. Number 1. The Asmat Tribe 
Deep within the thick rainforests of Papua New Guinea, amidst the network of mangroves and winding rivers, lies the ancestral homeland of the Asmat tribe. These skilled artisans have long been renowned for their complicated wood carvings, which represent scenes from their rich traditions and serve as evidence to their connection with the natural world. The Asmat's reputation for unconventional practices extends beyond their cooking choices. They are also known for their elaborate rituals surrounding death. When a member of the tribe passes away, the entire community comes together to craft a sacred pole, a towering monument adorned with complicated carvings and symbols that represent the deceased's journey to the afterlife. These poles are then ceremonially raised in a solemn display of high regard and remembrance. Furthermore, the Asmat people have a deep spiritual connection with the environment around them. They believe that every tree, river, and animal possesses its own unique spirit, and thus, they approach their surroundings with great respect and reverence. This belief system is complicatedly woven into their daily lives, influencing everything from their hunting practices to their artistic expressions. Despite their fearsome reputation, the tribe also harbors a profound sense of community and solidarity. They rely on one another for survival in the harsh and unforgiving environment of the rainforest, forging strong bonds that transcend individual differences. This community spirit is reflected in their shared rituals and traditions, which serve to unite them as a people. In recent years, the Asmat tribe has faced increasing pressure from external forces, including encroachment on their land and the spread of modern influences. Yet, amidst these challenges, they continue to hold on to their ancient customs and traditions, fiercely guarding their cultural heritage against the course of change. Which one of these scary tribes did you find the most intriguing? Share your thoughts and comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.